Uh, can you get uh, the $1,000 uh, grants to families out without going through the legislature? That election promise you men- mentioned as n- people meeting before Christmas, is it possible to do that in some other way, or is that not looking likely based on the timeline you have before Christmas now? We, we, want, to, we want to approve the dollars through the legislature. Uh, that's the best way to do this, and uh, that's our goal. Uh, but there are a whole, as you know, with, Rob, with government, there are always a, a range of uh, options available f- to decision makers. Uh, my first choice is to recall the legislature, uh, get this uh, b- business done and passed for people, and, and then uh, move on. Uh, that's that's the plan. And and if we have to amend that plan, I'll certainly be at this podium or somewhere else, letting you and other British Columbians know about it. Yeah, that, back to the $1,000 uh, payment. Can you guarantee that that will arrive in people's uh, po- pockets and wallets before Christmas? I can't, Keith. Uh, I can't guarantee that uh, because I don't know what restrictions we'll have in terms of getting the legislature back into place. Uh, I have been advised by finance officials that once the uh, dollars are appropriated, it won't take very much time at all to direct deposit the money in most cases because of the work we had done uh, with the federal government on uh, on the revenue agency and how we're sharing information. So direct deposits are the best way to go. And, and we're hopeful that we can do this very quickly. But I, I can't predict uh, when in December or early January that will happen. But I can tell British Columbians that the commitment we made during the election campaign will be fulfilled in the next number of weeks.